hello hello guys um here we have a dell laptop it's not turning on at all so i did check the 3.3 volts i checked uh, the 5 volts the 3.3 and the 5 volts are missing here this is a chip that controls the, the 3.3 and the 5 volts I hope you can notice something it's tagged uh, there at the edge here you have a tracker you can see that it's tracked and again you can see that someone did change this chip before okay one more thing the chip number here is pu200 so uh, i received a comment in one of the days one of the guys uh, did mention that i should try to teach people how to use a uh, schematic so now we're gonna repair this board using what using a schematic so what you do is you go online uh, let me show you okay let's start from uh, here first of all in, in order to use a schematic you need to understand what the board this is a board number uh, V A W L A. 9104p if you can type this number online and say schematic they will give you a schematic uh, free of charge right anyway let's go back uh, to where we were we were here this is a chip where is it okay there we are this is a chip that could that creates the 3.3 volts and the 5 volts uh, and the chip number is pu200 According to a board, PU they stand for power chip. U is for chip. P is for power. So PU is power chip. It's PU two hundred. It's power chip two hundred. So when we go online, I mean, let's go. Let's open a schematic. Here we are. It's here. And, and then you type the PU two hundred. It's gonna direct you straight to here okay no 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 oh, it's gonna direct you straight from uh, to here i have two schematics but this one is for this board i want you to see the structure of the chip we have a chip in the mickey of which is pu200 uh let me zoom in and you to see pu200 there we are you can see here pu pu200 and uh, let's zoom out you can see that the chip does create 3.3 volts always on the uh, left hand side and on the right hand side it creates 5 volts always right anyway let's uh let's go back this is the chip i'm gonna remove this chip guys uh, and then uh, replace it with another chip already i have another replacement chip this is the one this is a different schematic and on this schematic the chip that creates the 3.3 and the 5 volts called the pu 100 on this side so i'm just gonna go ahead and replace this chip right now and see if it's working or not but there's no excuse i did check there's no short so it's gonna work and uh, you can tell that someone did uh, replace this chip before because there is a track there is, the chip is tracked not sure if you can see under the microscope so this is the chip and this is the flaxy let's go ahead guys let's remove this chip right now and put a working chip uh, put a chip right now remove one put your nose in there Let's go ahead set your temperature right so right so right so right so right the cheap as You can see that the chip is tracked and it's got a hole you can see the at the right hand side
easy it came out easy 3.3 and the 5 volts yeah for power and the 5 volts is for usb you know the usb is a 5 volts and even the hard drive it's usb so you need the the three you need the 3.3 and you need the 5 volts Okay, guys so now what you have to do you have to prepare those pads where you remove the chip you have to prepare them for for a new chip i'm just waiting for my solder and iron to get hot and we're gonna clean those pads and prepare them for a new chip let's give it a try maybe it's hot let's see oh yeah it's hot what we do is prepare them easy in them nice put the thing so nice they are now they are shining they are sharp should be a solder everywhere you can see how fresh they are we have to remove the sky done yeah, I'm not okay. Right. Guys, I think now we are ready to put cheap. Okay. Okay, guys, now let's put back the chip. I hope you can see a dot here. There's a dot there, a white dot here. So that dot, it needs to align with a chip. The chip has a dot on it. I hope you can see the dot on top of the chip. So those dots, they should align. That's how you, you place the, the chip. And put too much flux. So that the chip will dance around. We need this chip to to dance around. It needs to to fit there. Papa. Now the chip is dancing. Chip needs to dance, Baba. Need to dance and sit. Dance, 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 dance. Right, right, right. Now let's see. Okay, you know what? It's 
easy so what i usually do is let's put flags in uh, on flags in. and we'll take you put that in ion So in this case we have to put uh, in the chip check if it's in proper We turn the day when. Tell me number one, man. Okay guys, uh, this is the new chip installed, 
uh and the pc is working fine now it's turning on i will show it to you right now here we have the leds you can say that someone was working on this board before okay there we are we have the leds and we have the fan we have everything let me turn it on again and i'm gonna try to do a video